Let's jump into I Need You. Dude, this is like... I don't even know... I, I don't know anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Like, people have recommended this so much, and it's so weird because with the, with the BTS stuff... I've been generally recommended more recent stuff. You know, the, the further the stuff goes back, the less recommendations I get for it. And also, it seems like the less views I get on the videos when that happens also. So, um, there's got to be something special going on with this universe. So, I'm just like, what am I getting into? Okay, nice piano. Jin? J -O. Well, they don't look very happy, I could say that. Okay. It's burning something. Oh, what does that say? Ah, CCs, don't tell me. Probably says I need you, right? He's crying. Oh my god, don't do that. Wait, I'm sorry, I was reading the lyrics and I didn't really see what was going on right there. Don't do that. Interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to pause real quick and say two things. One, I'm assuming when they say girl, they don't actually mean girl. Just because, from my experience, when BTS sings about, like, you know, love, or what sounds like romantic love, they're usually not talking about romantic love. Two, they all seemed super sad until they were all together here, and now they're all smiling. So, just something to keep in mind for the future, I guess. They all look really different. I mean, some of them gotta be like teenagers here, right? See, look, they're all laughing and smiling while they hang out together. Then here you go, they're fetal position when they're alone. Okay, so RM is a gas station employee. It's kind of cute. Ooh, I really like the song, actually. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm focusing more on what's happening in the video. He looks pissed. Oh. Did he start a fight with those guys that were walking by him? He's getting his ass kicked. He's not even fighting back, though. It was kind of, it's kind of like he wanted that to happen. I'm not gonna lie, I just got chills, and I don't think they're good chills. Like, I kind of feel like this is going in a... 
I hope it doesn't go where I think it's gone. Holy shit. Is he stabbing him? What is he doing? Why? Ah, what the hell? Is he about to light himself on fire? What is happening in this video? Hold on. I am almost positive that that was a lollipop. Am I losing my mind? I swore when he first showed up he had a lollipop. That's a lollipop. Oh, it's a lollipop right there. It turns into a cigarette. He's lighting himself on fire. What is happening? Oh, acting. Is he about to jump off there too? Dude, what? They're they're all like That was nuts, and I, I think I missed, like, half of it, but I want to go back and, like, break some of this down, because I just can't, I can't leave it like that. So, I'm not going to listen to the whole thing again, but I just kind of want to, like, skip through it and kind of just see what's going on here. Alright, so, J-Hope takes a bunch of pills, apparently in an attempt to commit suicide. My bracelet just fell off. So then what else is going on here? Sugar lights himself on fire. RM is the interesting one here where I'm like... He just seems bored, you know? Like, he just seems like... Like he's living in a world of monotony. You know, maybe I'm stretching here. But I'm wondering if the, the lollipop... Because they're so metaphorical, you know, and they're so philosophical so much of the time that, all right, this is probably a total stretch, but I'm wondering if that lollipop is somehow representing, like, the lollipop turning into the cigarette is maybe representing, like, the growth of a person. I'm not sure if, if I mean, like, from adolescence to adulthood, or if I mean, like, just from who you are to who from who you were to who you are sort of like the shadow concept i'm kind of still stuck on the the new bts right now but i'm not sure why else the lollipop would turn into a cigarette because a lollipop definitely represents youth while a cigarette definitely represents adulthood so I, I, i'm not sure about that okay so yeah he's like filling up the I'm sorry if this is really boring for you guys, but this is like got me really curious. Okay, so now here Jin's got like one, two, three, four, five. I think he's got six petals, and I'm wondering if that represents the other six members of the group. Because he seems it seems like Jin nothing really happened with Jin in this. He just kinda like is there with the flowers. And there's that connective tissue with whenever they're shown together, they're all 
happy, and then when they're apart, they're not. So I feel like there has to be a represent a representation there somewhere. Dude, that was V with the acting skills, right? At the end. So he tries to like. He kind of like walks into these two people in an alley, and he's just like. It was like he was looking for a fight, but he wanted the pain. He didn't want to win the fight. He just wanted to feel the pain. And J-Hope, I think, like, walks on to... He's, like, kind of... J-Hope's, like, walking on a bridge like he's about to kill himself. Or, like, maybe he's not about to kill himself, but he's willing to risk it. So, V, what's going on here? This is, like, the craziest part. So, like, V walks into this room... Let's watch this again. And he sees this guy hitting this woman. The guy's older than him. So is the woman. I'm guessing this is his mom and dad. And he just... Holy shit. And he just gets hit. Like, he just lets the car hit him. So these guys are all, like... Whatever's happening in this video, it's like... They're all depressed. Seemingly and alone. Depressed and alone to the point where they're willing to give it all up. Now, it doesn't seem like RM has gotten to that point yet. He just seems bored. V doesn't seem like he wants to, to, to kill himself, but he does seem like he's willing to kill his dad. Which, to kill another person is, is a sign of being willing to give up anyway. Even if you're doing it for the right reasons. Jimin just... Suga's... I mean, he just lit himself on fire. Like, that's just nonsense. And then we've got... We've got Jin here crying, right? I do wonder what's going on with Jin. Dude, that scene is gruesome. Like, gruesome. Like, that drip that comes out at the end there... It's even sadder when you see them all happy together because it kind of makes you wonder, like, if that happened afterwards. It doesn't, it can't happen afterwards because they, they tried to, some of them were probably successful. I don't even know. The song is pretty fire, man. For, like, an old song of theirs, it was 2015, this five years ago. This is a good song. Yeah, see, he's just kind of, like, testing it. He's just like, okay, if I fall, I fall. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I don't know. I, but don't, like, okay, so... I kind of want you guys to explain something. If I've missed anything, I want you guys to explain what I've missed. But I don't want spoilers. Like, I'm going to treat this like a TV show. I'm going to watch it, like, once a week and view it like episodes of a television show. Basically, I, I don't want any spoilers for the future videos. But if there's anything that I'm missing in this video that you think will help me going into the next video, then feel free to point that out. That was nothing like what I expected and nothing like what I've seen out of BTS before. I mean, they're they're always getting, like, very deep into the metaphors and the uh, the philosophy and the psychology and stuff like that but this was more this was just brutal this was like dark you know it was some crazy stuff